Shalom, more praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Ha'arakak, Kodash, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great Milson who rule well. And Shalom to the whole four let. It's a pile of the GMS London camp. And this is um, News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I've got an article here. Actually, not really an article. It's something I come across on um, Judge Report. And it's a tracker. But um, this speaks, you know, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem El-Shai, Ba'ashem El-Rakar, Kudash, through his Holy Spirit, right? We've been, our, our minds have been open to this this word and this, the spirit has made us enter into the office of prophets, all right? In line with Jeremiah 1, 5. So we've, we've been set up as watchmen over the children of the house of Israel, as it tells you in the book of Ezekiel. All right, and we come in the same stead in being watchmen as Habakkuk, all right, standing upon our watch and writing, you know, so that he may run the read of it. So we're we're here to basically, you know, blow the horn, all right, sound the trumpet, so people will know what time it is, and in knowing what time it is, the trumpet we're blowing is a trumpet of of war, of there's an impending danger, all right, in doom, impending doom, so lucky. Like all right, so this is part of us blowing that that holy horn. All right, of Yahweh Bar Shem El Shai Bar Har Bar Shem Haraka Kodash. And in doing so, we're warning the elect unto salvation. All right, which, as it tells you in the book of Acts fourteen and twenty two, saints must through tri great tribulation enter into the kingdom. All right. So, and that, that's talking about what? Uh, the furnace of affliction to ready us for the coming to be made perfect with the Lord Yahweh Shai. But ultimately, that would be the, 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 the pinnacle or the threshold of that, that um, tribulation, that furnace of affliction will be done, will be shown in the t our temptation, the time of Jacob's trouble. So in saying all of that, this this little article here, this this website, or this yeah, this article basically shows you biblical prophecy happening right now. All right, and this is really a call on to repentance of for the elect of Yahweh Bar Shem El Shai, Bar Shem El Rakar Kodash, of the House of Israel. All right, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and all the children and all their descendants scattered all over the, the earth. All right. That you need to turn on to the Lord and, and turn on to repentance at right now, at this moment, all right? And make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, all right? So this is from axios.com, and it says, The C variant tracker. New variants of SARS, you know, you see it there, are rapidly spreading through the US. These... C variants are being studied because they may be more transmissible because more severe cause more severe disease or reduce the efficiency of current vaccine vaccines a live tracker keeps you updated with the key information you need to know so right here you have a hit a live tracker all right of of everything so let's go through, go through it. So, okay, variants of concern. UK variant, all right? It says it's 50% more transmissible, likely causes more severe disease. Vaccines are still effective, all right? And it shows you all the different places where it is. I'm guessing the ones that are highlighted um, in a darker, you know, color, basically shows you where it's more prevalent. Where as opposed to the paler ones, which shows you where it's less of a, a, a problem, all right? South African variant. South Africa variant. 50% more transmissible. Unknown if it causes more severe disease. Vaccines are less effective, all right? So, even you had um, Boris Johnson... Basically, come out and said like um, that people that have had the vaccine 
don't that doesn't mean you can mingle with everyone else, all right? And he's saying that it isn't a hundred percent effective. Wait, so hold on. So why why are people taking it then? All right, if it ain't a hundred percent effective. What use is it if if the whole reason you've been locked up is because you need a vaccine, but now you've got it and you still can't mingle with people. The real reason is obviously down to they want to roll out the Maxine um, passports, all right? Because that's the only way, you know. He obviously didn't word it <laughs> in a way where it makes sense because as far as I'm concerned, let me not even make it as far as I'm concerned. For him to say something like that, he's undermining, and that, the article I saw from RT basically is undermining the effectiveness of the vaccination, all right? It's undermining the efficiency of the vaccination, all right? Um... So anyway, let me read on because I'm I'm kind of getting lost in, on a tangent. Uh, Brazil variant, all right, says believed to be more transmissible, more research needed. Unknown if it causes more severe diseases. Disease ma- vaccine efficiency is unknown. So that's that's the sign they gotta find out a bit more on. California variants. Um, there being two of them from the looks of it, twenty percent more transmissible. May cause more severe disease, but more research, but more research needed. Vaccines are likely still effective. All right. Variants of uh sorry, New York variants, unknown if it's more or less transmissible. Unknown if it is more severe disease. Vaccines may be less effective, but more research needed. All right, Brazil variant, again, I guess, uh, believed to be more transmissible, but more research needed. So you can see there's a lot of um, different ones there. So let me read this little bit here. New variant surge in 2021. The big picture, multiple uh, C variants are now spreading rapidly around the world, supplanting the original virus in some parts of the United States. Details in autumn 2020, researchers began support spotting new C variants that seemed to spread faster than the virus that was first detected more than a year ago. All right. So they're saying these ones are, are, are more aggressive, basically. All right. In in terms of you know trans transmission, uh the B, the as you can see the B variant, which was first found in the UK, began to spread around the globe. Others popped up in Brazil, South America, Japan, the US, and elsewhere. Data now show these new more transmissible variants make up a, a majority of sequence C samples in the United States. March was a pivotal month in the United States. Data for the month are only just becoming available, but a new study in the journal Cell estimates that as data as data catch up, um, they will show the B, as you can see, became the dominant variant in the U.S. states by late March. All right, so you can see there by the chart. Uh, I don't know how to read that, to be honest. Um, All right, the reason why I really read this article just to show you that there's multiple variants out there, all right, as you may be aware, but it's, it's in line with the prophecy, all right, because the main thing you have to understand, the testimony of our shy is the spirit of prophecy, all right, what is a, te- a testament, 
you know, a testimony, proof of Yahweh Shai's existence is through what? Prophecy, all right? It comes in the form of the spirit of prophecy, all right? And that spirit of prophecy being shown, or the way that spirit of prophet is, prophecy is being shown, all right? The way that testimony is shown is through the spirit of prophecy. So when you see these prophecies basically pop, you know, like popcorn jump off the pages of this book and be shown in, in, in real life, in real, you know, in, in real time, then you know that, you know, Yahweh Shai is, is real, you know. So this is meant to bolster your faith and lift up your head as our salvation drive now. So let's read some prophecies. Luke 21 and 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, all right, and famines and pestilences, all right. And this is in the form of a, of a pestilence, all right. The, the Novid. So it says, um, and fearful sights and great signs shall be there, shall be there, shall be, shall there be from heaven, all right. But the main thing is that pestilences, all right. So let me read this other one. In second Ezra. What am I doing? 16. Alright, it's 2nd Ezra 16, 36, and it says, uh, Behold, the word of the Lord, behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Alright? This is the word of the Lord, the Holy Bible. Alright? The King James Version. The most closest translation you can find in the English. Along this, there's, there's a few others as well. But it's easy to go back to the Hebrew through the form of the Strong's Concordance, all right, and line up all the words that are spoken in the English, in 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 this Bible, Holy Bible, back to the Hebrew and the Greek, and only the Hebrew, all right. So it says, um, Second Ezra sixteen thirty six. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the powers, the gods of whom the Lord spake, all right. Um, behold, plagues draw nigh. And are not slack, all right. And this shows you the plagues are not slack, all right, because the variants are just popping up. When it first come out, there's one strain, and now there's many different variants. And if if you're in the loop, there was information that went out that made you aware that look, there's 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 many variants, all right, multiple, multiple, multiple variants, all right. So I said so. As the word is saying, verse 37, Behold, the plagues draw night and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. All right. Um, sorry, let me read that again. Verse 38, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. All right. So then pains, they, they crescendo. That's the only word I could think to describe it. Like an orchestra when they kind of, you know, the, the volume starts low and then it, it ascends up in scale. All right, in volume, in sound, sorry. That's basically what is happening right now. You see, and all these prophecies layer upon each other and, and build up to that great time of this great deliverance, all right? So it's compared to a woman in labor, okay? Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. All right, we're seeing that, all right? This is full proof of that. That the variants of concern. Is they show you six right there. Before it was known as one last year. But then who knows. There's more variants. Right. Because I remember there was audio that came out. That they said there was somewhere around 20 variants. Right. Out in China. In Wuhan. So who knows that these. these This is a controlled demolition. And they're letting, letting them out one by one. All right. And you may say, well, how you know that? How you know they're letting them out one by one, bruv? Because just just sit your ass down and go watch um, Contagion, all right? And he, 
the CDC shows you that. It shows you the CDC over there in Atlanta, Georgia, have all these things. I believe it's in Atlanta, Georgia. Has all these different viruses, diseases, in a cage somewhere, painted in, and, they're, and they're messing with them and making different things and whatnot. All right? And don't forget that Bill Gates said, him and his missus sat down and they said that people don't believe this will give them something to believe in. All right? Lucy Paraphrase. So it says that. Let me go to this last one. 15. So this last one I'll read, 2nd Ezra 15, 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. All right, so with that, man, I pray you are edified. Till the next one, I say shalom.